loves, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again here at Just Be Tarot Aquarius. My name is Miss Jelly. How you doing? So we're going to get uh, a peek <laughs> into what is going on with Aquarius Nation, the collective of Aquarius. If you have a sun, moon, rising, north, no, Jupiter, Juno, Venus placement, there could definitely be a word in this for you. First, I want to say Aquarius, I love you guys so much. And I thank you so much for your love and your support. I thank you so much for your presence here in this video. Thank you for clicking on the video one more time, Aquarius. I truly appreciate you and I can't say it enough, okay? So, when I was tapping into your energy, my guide said that there's something up in the air. Something you may be trying to figure out, um, you know, is it going to work out? How should you proceed? Um, and I would normally say connect to your guides as they are always there with you. Um, connect to your guides and see into the unknown. But the thing is, for a lot of us collectively, some things have not come to pass yet. Some things are still... Um, in the works there is still an unknown and so sometimes if we uh try to force the outcome or try to control the outcome in some shape form or fashion or push the cart too far uh we could push the cart off the path so sometimes we have to just sit back and trust if you understand what i'm saying that that's the kind of energy that i was feeling okay so let's just see uh, what comes out in these cards here? We're using the Akashic uh, Tarot this evening. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see, let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus. Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors, a clear and accurate message. Now, personal readings are also available, Aquarius. If you're interested, that information is below. You must email me, Okay. Also, there is a join button if you want to join the channel membership, as well as that little thanks um, coin <laughs> on the front of the page if you want to give, you know, a token of love to support the channel. All donations, likes, subscribes, shares, comments, it's all a token of love and I appreciate each and every one of you. All right for your energy and your presence. So let's just see for Aquarius, spirit, angels, and ancestors, a clear message for Aquarius placements, please. What's the message? Oh, I want to say, I never sit in this pose, but because I've really been working hard <laughs> in my movement class um, and doing, you know, my workout and just trying to be uh, as healthy as I can be and be my best self, um, in all <laughs> aspects of my life. Oh my God, I'm able to sit here in this pose, although I have my pillows, don't get it twisted, but I'm able to sit here in this pose and feel comfortable. So I feel the energy that we are really working on ourselves, right? In all different ways, right? In all different ways. It doesn't have to be everybody doing a workout or everybody doing this or doing that, but we are working on ourselves collectively um, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, financially, and that's an awesome fucking thing. Okay, Aquarius? Just want to tell you that. Good job. <laughs> Let's see. Aquarius, what do we have? We have the Queen of Keys, which is um, happening right now. Current energy, past energy, reflection, yes. Self-reflection, uh, contemplation, um, starting over with the 19, breaking down to the 10, um, looking, coming back to self is what I feel with that card, okay? Um, and under that, we have the, tr the karmic trench. So we may have been um, looking at our own behaviors, patterns, and how others view us. As, and forget about them. How do we see ourselves? Okay, because it's like a karmic path. So we have gone through some phases here, definitely. Let's see what the future energy is about for Aquarius with these cards. We have the Oracle Delphi. Okay, so let's read these. Um, but most importantly, the current energy of the Queen of Keys. Love it. Let's see. Queen of Keys for Aquarius. 
in the upright, the queen of keys, um, a queen is dressed in a gown of rich colors and textures, stands atop the tower of her great castle, happily looking over the rich, uh, verdant hills of her domain. In the far distance, her husband returns from his travels. This card represents a woman of authority. She is sensitive, helpful, and thoughtful. She is confident in her authority, but always happy to celebrate the success of other, others. She could be a love interest for you or someone in your life. Besides referring to a positive woman of business, this card can represent you or another person who is about to climb the ladder of success. Positions in banking, investment, real estate, and management may be coming for you. Self-employment in any industry could also be at hand for you, as well as greater financial independence, increased authority, or creative autonomy at work. Take note that when the queen or the king of keys appear in the same spread, um, and they're facing one another, it indicates a deeply profound relationship in love or business that is of great value. So the Queen of Keys is the Queen of Pentacles in this deck. And um, it talks about a person who wears many hats, a person who um, gives <laughs> to many um you know, expends a lot of energy, a person who can do it all, okay? A person who can be a husband or wife, a mother or father, a business partner, um, run their own business, keep up the household, or, you know, run the finances, like, they're able to do it all, all right? Um, and this particular card also talks about how this person is more than helpful and thoughtful. They are confident in the fact that they are capable of doing these things and they're always happy to um you know clap or give praise to another where praise is due all right um now the card also mentioned how if you're not feeling as though you have you are a business person or that you own your own business at this time a uh, great success could be uh coming for you shortly the queen of pentacles in the tarot does talk about um, a cash infusion. So there's success on the way. I can't help but notice that the Queen of Keys is looking back at the reflection card. Okay, so maybe someone is being asked to celebrate all victories, big and small, to look back at your past self and congratulate your present self and be hopeful, faithful, and thankful for the path ahead is what I feel, okay? But the Queen of Keys is looking back at reflection here, which is interesting. Looking back at times that have passed. We are in the end of the year, so there could be some type of, um, you know, nostalgic memories of the past or even um, just past seasons, where we've come from, how far we've come and things like that, okay? For the future energy, though, we step into the number one. I love, love, love this with the Oracle of Delphi. So let's look that up. Um, the Oracle of Delphi in the upright, the Phythia or the princess at Del, the priestess, excuse me, at Delphi sits upon a high three-legged seat. Steam gently rises from a small fuser in the ground. Nearby, a robed priest prepares to write upon an open scroll. While the Phaedia physically receives the perceptions from Apollo, it is the priest who interrupt, interrupts her pronouncements. 
in this, we see the two important keys in psychic experience, perception and interpretation. When you receive this card, you're in a time of great insight and psychic power. Even if you don't recognize it, it lies very close to your consciousness. Because you have used this gift in so many past lives, you may get images or feelings without knowing how to interpret them. Take note as you practice both your psychic perceptions and their interpretations. Just as they gave the Oracle of Delphi a profound awareness, your psychic perceptions and their interpretations give you a powerful insight and an akarshic vision of the world. Close your eyes and go within. Feel your psychic energy growing, expanding forward from the very depths of your being and notice the first thing that you sense. That is a key. Okay? So, <laughs> it looks as though, as always, we can always rely on our guides, right? to show us the way. I think I said this in the beginning. I'm not sure because I started this video over a couple of times. Um, but yes. Your insights, your psychic abilities um, that are flowing from you and through you and to you, they are giving you messages, okay? And we'll see what it's about, all right? It will be different for everybody, obviously. Okay, but I do want to bring out some of these cards as well. So let's see. For Aquarius spirit, what is the message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus? Anywhere you have Aquarius in your chart, let's see if we can uh, get clear messages here for Aquarius, please. Messages that resonate with the collective of Aquarius, please. Clear messages of truth, love, and guidance for Aquarius. What do we have for the reflection card, please? So, we're reflecting on what we should and should not invest in. It states here that um, investing in your education is something you could be considering. You may be making big plans for the future, Aquarius. You may be thinking about taking some type of risk, but Spirit is asking you to take calculated risk. And also save for the future. So some of you, you may be thinking about um, the lessons that you have learned in regards to time, money, energy, especially when it pertains to money. Okay, you may be um, learning some lessons and working on um, a nest egg, maybe deciding to create an IRA, a retirement plan, or some type of, you know, emergency fund for yourself, which wouldn't be a bad idea. There's also an energy here where you may be thinking about, you know, investing in a particular business um, investment or, you know, even investment for a home, a car, or any big purchase or maybe in the stocks and bonds and Bitcoin and crypto and things like that. Spirit is asking you to think about it in a calculated way. Investing in your education would be a great idea. So some of you may have gone, you know, may have had this go through your mind at some point, okay? Let's see. Let's get one for the Queen of Keys, please. Spirit for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus. Ooh. Okay. Spirit is saying take this card. Because these were, this was a lot. Okay. And we're only taking one per pile here. Um, but it says an honest work. Honest work. Beautiful. Now, 
um, when when we talk about honest work, it just means that we're you know on the right side of the law. Is how I feel. You know, we're not scheming, scamming. <laughs> we're not doing any of that stuff. Okay, we're we may be hustling. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We may be doing a couple of different things to get multiple streams of income. But it states here that you know. Again, going back to this uh, education, going to school, certification, even a mentorship could really help you because um, Spirit is asking you to get some experience to help you move up in the future. So some of you, you may be getting a leg up. You may be getting the spotlight and you may not even realize it. Okay, You may be running into um, certain people of a certain caliber who can help you, people of authority who can assist and give you a leg up and help bring success to you um, in that way, okay? Uh, Spirit is saying to realize that success is a process. It is not a quick fix. Fix. It does not happen overnight. Anything worth having is worth working for. And it's okay. It's okay to not have the exact status quo that we want right now. It's okay to work our way up from the bottom. It's okay to work our way up from the middle. It's okay to even be on top and still need to climb to be our best, you know, successful self. Experience um, makes perfect is what I want to say. As long as it is honest work, you have a lot to be thankful for. Don't compare yourself to others is also what I'm getting here, okay? Um, remember, this Queen of Keys doesn't mind giving praises where praises are due, right? Um, giving other people credit where credit is due because in turn, that person giving credit receives credit. 10 times over. It's like one hand washes the other and they both help one another. Okay. One hand washes the other and they both wash the face is what my dad used to say. Right. So there's something about, um, receiving a leg up, not comparing yourself to others and being on a very successful path. Also surrounding yourself with people who are of certain caliber, perhaps even a higher caliber than yourself. Because that energy rubs off on us. It also, you know, teaches us. We learn from those who know more than we do. We learn from those who have more experience. Elders, right? They pass, they give us gems, okay? And so I am getting that there may be some kind of celebration um, at hand for you, all right? There may even be some type of uh, gathering, uh, party, celebration, holiday party or something like that where you may be getting uh, the spotlight here in some shape, form or fashion and you could potentially um, receive some type of leg up, um, a reference, um, a proposal. You may even receive a new job offer is what I'm getting. Somebody has put in their resume and they've been doing this over and over and over and they're finally going to receive some great feedback um, and you may be celebrating that. I'm also getting celebrate your wins, no matter how big, no matter how small, Aquarius, okay? Let's see, what is the Oracle of Delphi talking about for Aquarius, some rising? North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus, Holy Spirit, please. Clear and accurate message for Aquarius. So we're going to take both of these because my guides told me to. Bottom of the deck, you do have gifts. And we're going to read that as well. It states here with the Oracle of Delphi, you have answers. And so this card talks about um, receiving key knowledge, at just as the uh, or as the oracle card talked about here. Um, you will resolve your current situation very soon. Work wise, you find unique ways to stand out. I feel that you're being thrust, you're being pushed into the spotlight in some shape, form, or fashion. 
if you are a person who likes to be behind the scenes, back of the house, you're going to be given the spotlight because it is time for you to get it. All right. Okay. It is time for you to be noticed by authorities, by people, the higher ups, by a hierarchy. Okay. Your guides want you to get a, a leg up somehow and you have to be pushed into the spotlight in order to get it. Okay. You find new openings with job security is what this card says. All right. But with it coming over the Oracle, again, the Akashic records, your guides, they are all helping you. Okay. There is something about your psychic abilities, your gifts, your talents, your skill sets that are going to be noticed, that are going to be highlighted at this time. And you will be presenting them and someone else will be interpreting them right? Perception and interpretation. Okay. Yes. There's also an energy here. It says on here, love. So you may be going to some type of, like, like, like I mentioned, there may be some type of celebration. Or it could even be a wedding, um, a baby shower, an engagement party, um, some type of travel. Okay. Or I, this is kind of giving me like the captain's uh, captain's dinner on a on a ship or something like that. But answers are coming to you, and they may be coming in all shapes, forms, and sizes. Okay, it could be in your dream space, in your day space. It could be while you're walking down the street. Signs, synchronicities, confirmations. Okay, but you're going to be receiving the key. You're going to be receiving answers. Okay, so answers are coming to you that will help you resolve your current situation. It will be different for everybody, and you know what that is about if this is talking to you, um, if you're resonating with this reading thus far. The other card that came out here with this card here, what you don't know, these answers are going to help you um, with direction, your path, okay, is what I feel especially with the oracle here. It states your purpose is unfolding slowly, step by step as you go along. There's no need to hurry and there's no need to worry. You are being divinely guided, Aquarius. So make sure to pay attention. Again, I am getting exactly what the oracle card here stated. It is about perception and interpretation. When your guides give you these signs, synchronicities, omens, angel numbers, feathers, um, synchronicities through music, through people having conversations, um, through your dream space or your sedated space, or even in your daydreams, in your awakened state, it is up to you to interpret and discern the um, directive that is being given to you. It is up to you to interpret those signs and synchronicities same thing vice versa when as your skill set talents and gifts are exposed others will be interpreting them so i'm kind of getting the energy of communication our communication style and things like that you are being divinely guided bottom of the deck we did have this gifts card and it says you are uncovering new talents that will land you new work and a better position. You could get more money with the deal as well. So again, a leg up. Your talents, gifts, and skill sets are being put in the spotlight somehow. And there is going to be a successful outcome when it pertains to this honest work. When it pertains to where you put your energy. Okay, your time and your money. Now, some of you, you may even get a tip when it pertains to this investments, right? You may get a tip. Okay, some of you, you're going to hear from a headhunter or some type of, uh, what do you call that? Staffing agency or um, something like that. Some of you, you're going to change your work. Your work is going to change according to this new divine path that you're on, okay? All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles coming out here right away, okay? Yeah, somebody literally is <laughs> getting what they have been giving, the energy that has been being put out into the 
to the world and to the ethers from you, Aquarius, is coming back to you. Okay, I feel that somebody is getting a leg up or a tip, okay, with the Six of Pentacles. This is definitely equal give and take, but you can see here, um, remember when I said one hand washes the other and they both wash the face, but somebody is literally giving you something like this is free, okay? This is free. Um, it's like someone is pouring into your hand. There's no you know, back and forth happening here right now. Okay. Not in this card. It's a gift. All right. So some of you are receiving um, a tip when it comes to investment, or like I said, education could really help you, even if it's just knowledgeable information, right? Through like a mentorship or reading books or something. Okay. Um, There's also an energy here where you want to save your money. Again, the money that comes in, perhaps you want to take that money and put it in um, an IRA, a savings account, you know, take a certain percentage and put it away for a rainy day, for a backup, something like that. But Six of Pentacles is um, giving and receiving, being open to receive. Being open to receive is what is here. Six of Pentacles is also balancing out your money. So again, if you had some lessons when it pertains to overspending um, or just money in general, right? Um, it's like Spirit is saying you've learned some lessons. You can balance out the energy. You can balance out your books you could pay something off there's all that kind of energy there okay investing in your future is what i just heard all right and some of you may have sat back and thought about this how you can do make changes okay change behavior okay when you find yourself doing the same thing that you have done before there's an energy here with reflection that you can literally look back because this is you right now queen of pentacles okay or this is what you are manifesting. Queen of Pentacles, an honest day work, an honest dollar, doing the damn thing and moving up the ladder, right? With your new talents, gifts, and skill sets. Because your spirit guides see you making these changes, your path is changing. What I'm getting here with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Keys, looking back and um, at this 10, some type of cycle that has closed out, you may have had some type of lesson when it pertains to money, time, energy. Therefore, by doing the self-reflection, looking back at old patterns, old behaviors, you can change it when you find yourself doing something that is similar to what you have done before. You can change it right then, right then, right? You can make a new habit, a new pattern, a new behavior that actually works in your favor is what I feel. And I feel like you're getting a helping hand from the universe. All right, let's see what else. Mm -hmm. Okay, two of pentacles. We have the knight of pentacles and we have the page of pentacles. Yeah, a lot of pentacles. <laughs> and we have the page of cups. Okay, so sincere conversations, friendships is what the page of cups talks about. Friendships, sincere conversations, new friends, okay, that are like priceless, all right? They're like, um, they get along with your inner child. You get along with their inner child, okay? Knight of Pentacles, something has seemed to take a very long time to generate or to come into fruition, all right? And as Spirit has mentioned, it is okay for you to have a job that may not seem, you know, as glamorous or it may not be, um, you know, the status quo that you may see your, you know, glamour in, but that's okay. You have multiple streams of income about to come in. I do feel this energy of doing two things. I do see the energy here of passive income as well. Okay. And so I feel like you may have two different jobs and you're balancing it out. You're, you're being asked to not get overwhelmed with anything. Okay. Um, I feel 
that there are some new ideas, new information, new plans coming into play here that are going to be very, very helpful for you. Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, it does talk about three whole pentacles, okay? Again, through these friendships, okay? Now, it could be through an authoritative. You see that? Some of you, you may be um, thinking about going into business for yourself, okay? Uh, you may be thinking about initiating some type of small business or you've already been doing this, working two things at once, um, your regular job and this, this venture here. Spirit is saying there's going to be uh, ideas, information um, that comes in towards you that will help propel you to the next step. Like this card here says, get more experience to help move you into the future. Success is a process. It is not a quick fix. And with the pentacles here, it does talk about one step at a time, one foot in front of the other. Okay. Planting the seeds of intention and allowing it to grow. Mm -hmm. There's also an energy here where there's some type of big shot around you. Okay. Like I mentioned, there's an elder here. You can see the gray hair there or the white hair or whatever this is. Uh, they may be an elder. They could be very experienced, okay? they It could be somebody you don't even know. It could be a cab driver. Uh, um, it could be a boss of some other company. It could be anybody. They have a plethora of information to give you. I feel like you're receiving lots of help with the Six of Pentacles, okay? You could even be receiving, um, you know, money from others who want to support your business. Okay. So you could be putting together a business plan here. You could have, you could put together a business plan. You could be learning about business plans and things like that and making, um, letting somebody know about it and they give you some huge insight or information. I'm not sure. Okay. Aquarius, but there are kindred spirits around you, sincere folks, new folks, Okay, and I feel like somebody is giving you um, like a blueprint or a plan or like I said, they may be giving you a leg up, giving you a reference, something like that is happening here all in due time. All right. So don't push the envelope. Remember, um, what you say and do is being interpreted by others and vice versa. Okay, perception and interpretation is super important here. All right. So let's see, because you're going to get answers. You're going to get direction is right here. All right. But your guides are taking the lead here and helping you receive this uh, information, helping you see the way forward to success. Let's just see for Aquarius. All right. What is this about for Aquarius, please? <laughs> Beautiful. Ooh, page of swords. So investigation, a lot of pages. Okay, we saw the page of cups, the page of pentacles, the page of swords. The page of pentacle, um, pentacles does talk about a plan, planting the seeds um, regarding something that you have been doing for a while. You know, this is somebody who continues to get knowledge, continues to grow um, in this way of this plan. With the Page of Swords, though, I feel that somebody is looking into it, okay? Or you're looking into it. You're looking into the answers. You're receiving the answers, and you're asking to interpret it, okay? Page of Wands. Wow, a lot of new beginnings, initial steps is what I'm getting, okay? Hanged Man. All right, seeing something from a different perspective. So, again, perspective and um, interpretation. Okay, um, the Page of Wands is definitely creativity. It's definitely good news, good results coming in as well. All right, um, initial steps, okay, getting excited, all right, about an initial plan. Okay, with the Hangman, um, Spirit is saying, make sure you pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. You are receiving downloads here, okay? Um, even if there's a pause, uh, it doesn't mean that any nobody's not watching and it doesn't mean that there's nothing happening, okay? Even if you don't see it happening, something is happening here is what I feel. Let's get another. Oh, oh, 
the Ace of Swords, victory and clarity with the hangman. Okay, so you are getting direction. You're being asked not to move too quickly. It's all about your um, communication style as well. I do feel this energy here that there may be some type of um, weight with the hangman. All right, with the Hierophant. Um, this is also having an overall different type of belief system, maybe a different narrative. Okay, but this could be the hierarchy. The hierarchy with the Eight of Wands here. Um, this is an unstoppable force. Force The Eight of Wands, things are going to start moving really quickly. Okay, I feel like you're getting spiritual support. But with the Ace of Swords, there's something about communication style. And there's also the energy of signing documentation. Important documentation, especially like your ID. Okay, maybe making sure all of your documents are in order here. Okay, it could be your resume. It could be your, you know, making sure you have, you know, your identification documentation. Okay, let's say you have your own business. You know, where's your LLC? Where's the, you know, certifications that you need? Where is this and where is that? Okay. Um, if you're asked on the spot, you know, I need your, you know, I need your certification of, um, you know, of whatever licensure. I need your degree. Do you have it? I need this from you. I need that from you. Okay. We need, you know, to get all of these documents in order so that we can go in the direction we're supposed to go in. I feel that there's somebody here who's giving you a helping hand, but they're giving you direction on what steps to take. Um, it's up to you to pay attention um, and make the initial, you know, take the actions you're being asked to take, okay? Um, and don't force, don't push, you know, wait, I feel. Wait and wait until the communication comes in. It will come in and then follow the directions is what I feel. Now, even if this is from your guides, same thing, same process. Again, it's a marathon. It's not, it's not a sprint. Okay, um, let's get something else out here for the, yeah, things are transforming. You're growing, elevating, evolving. Now, it's funny. We have the number 13 here on the death card, and we know that death is the sign of Scorpio. It talks about endings and new beginnings. There's new beginnings when it pertains to your gifts, your talents, and your skill set. The new moon for Scorpio is on November 13th. Okay, so there's something happening with that, all right? You're uncovering some new things about yourself here, okay? Temperance, yeah, be patient with yourself. Everything is happening in the perfect and divine timing. There's divine intervention here. There is universal guidance here. There is protection here for you, your guardian angels, your ancestors. They're all right here helping this to be a perfect path for you, okay? Look at this. Um, you may be holding on to the end result too tightly and you may need to stay courageous in your prospects. Okay, Aquarius? But good things are happening for you. You're getting help. I feel you're getting help here. Okay, yeah. New contracts on hand as well. All right. Don't hold on to the end result too tightly. Go with the flow. You are manifesting and there are new, beautiful, creative beginnings here. Now, there's also a spark that is happening with someone um, and you may need to be patient with this person. I have a love reading and a random reading com coming up soon. All right. But let's get back to this. It says here, Part man, part woman, but all angel. Therefore, what I'm getting here is balance out your masculine and your feminine energies, okay? And stay high vibrational. One foot in the water and one foot on the land. Very important to have your balance, okay? And trust. Trust where you're being led. Trust this transformative energy. Trust your insight. Trust your psychic abilities your skill sets and your talents. Trust that you are enough is what I'm getting. Okay, things are working out. Behind the scenes, your angels are helping things work out here, whether you realize it or not, Aquarius, okay? That's what I'm getting all over this board. Success is upon you, all right? <clears throat> and success is different for all of us, right? Um, an honest 
pay, an honest job. There's also this energy of integrity and authenticity. It's like whatever this is, is coming from your own hand. Some of you, you're changing up your whole, uh, <laughs> what you were doing, you know, before is not what you're going to be doing now. Okay. Um, some of you, you will continue to do one thing, but you're adding a whole new element and it's the beginning processes of this and it's going to grow, elevate and evolve as well as you, as you pour into it, it will grow. You know, the more you learn experience is what I'm getting a lot of experience. Okay. There's a journey here. All right. It's not, you know, like an overnight thing, but it's definitely successful progress. Um, reward and recognition, um, leg up and, you know, getting the spotlight here. Okay. Yeah. That's what I see. Okay. So yes, in the past, like I said, there was some type of lesson when it pertained to money, time, and energy, things kind of got out of control. All right. Is what I feel. I feel that somebody, um, tried to go back to an old job or, um, try to, tr is trying to get back into the work field. Okay. For others trying to climb this corporate ladder or get this promotion and things like that, um, and get connections, but somebody's like going round and round and it kind of felt like it was really, really slow. Now I feel that you're getting some type of leg up with the six of pentacles. I feel like there was some false investments or something like that. All right. Yes. Yeah, see, I was just saying that bad investments. Okay. That may have happened in the past. Things seem to have gone really, really slow. There may have been some challenges at the, um, at the office. Okay. Somebody may have gotten tired of working the night shift or working the shift that they were on. Somebody may have only had like a temporary job or something like that. And something came to an end. Yeah. But there's a new strategy here. Okay. There's a job change and making new choices here. All right. <clears throat> now somebody, oh boy, I was going to say somebody's income may be fluctuating because they may be doing this type of job and that type of job, you know, hustling. Okay. And that's why this card here says maybe the job uh, status that someone has that I'm resonating with is not as, um, you know, glamorous and the status quo isn't what you want it to be, but it is changing. And here's the change right here with this nugget energy. Okay. We have increased valuable information and honest assessment of what you really want to do. There's some fresh starts here and steady work. Your career is growing, elevating, and evolving. Beautiful. Yeah. And we have this money strategy. So again, somebody may be giving you um, a nugget, some type of uh, good information that you can use some wise information. Okay. Um, how to play the long game here. Okay. How to become the leader that you want to be, how to think through strategic steps on how to be successful in business. This could be that education. This could be that mentorship. This could be that, uh, that elder giving you, uh, lessons, you know, giving you strategic, um, information, giving you a gem in some shape, form, or fashion. This could even be your guides again. Okay. We also have the gift coming out, matching another gift card here. Okay. Giving and receiving a sudden windfall, generosity, and financial support, a work surprise, a vacation. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have the buried treasure coming out with this gift card. This is where you're being transform to and being led by your angels, your guides, and ancestors, your lineage, whatever you subscribe to, God, source, spirit is allowing you to go through this transformative change and see the real essence of your own um, gifts, your own talents, your own skill sets, your own intuition, your Akashic records. There's worry-free finances here. There's money in the reserves here. There are executive sales and there are executive moves and planning and hidden talents that you have. Let it, let your guides use you as the vessel that you are supposed to be used to get this huge windfall to get this generosity, to get this financial support, to get this 
promotion, to climb this corporate ladder, to have your own business, to buy that vacation home, to buy that home that you always thought about, to go on the vacation you've always thought about, to be able to work smarter and not harder and still be able to live the life you were created to live is what I am getting here. Under that, we have the hand, okay? And so I like this going with the uh, Ace of Swords. Um, I feel that you are reaching goals and you're receiving some type of financial assistance, especially if you're going to go back to school in some shape, form, or fashion. You may get... Um, you know, student loan forgiveness, or you may get some type of scholarship or some type of financial assistance that will help you to balance out um, the energy so you don't have to worry, okay, with this worry-free energy going on over here. I do see that you're going to have some type of hands-on help getting to where you want to be in some shape, form, or fashion when it comes to a job, when it comes to a particular career endeavor, when it comes to a particular entrepreneurship endeavor, okay? You could even be, um, you know, co-creating something with someone else, okay? So somebody may see in you what you haven't seen in yourself, and it literally helps you bring out the best in you. Okay, somebody may trust you with um, an executive position within their own business, okay, and teach you everything that they know. Like things like that are possible now, okay? But you do have to have the courage and the strength. You do have to have the um, perseverance. You do have to have the, the, the ideology that I can, okay? I am uh, successful. I have a good relationship with money. I bring valuable people into my life. I, um, you know, money is very comfortable with me and I'm comfortable with it. Like, you know, more than just I am uh, affirmations, but more of affirmative uh, affirmations like, you know, um, I don't know. I have a great relationship with money. I um, see myself running to, you know, businesses or whatever it is, Aquarius, okay? All right? <clears throat> okay, so these cards are a bit um, inverted here, but I see again, new businesses, okay? Maybe two different things working at the same time. I do see you doing your investigative work. I see you learning, okay? Is what I see. All right. Yeah. And then we have the Ace of Cups. I didn't, I'm not taking these inverted because I didn't get a chance to really set them up as I wanted to. But you see here the authority. Someone is going to take interest in you, Aquarius, a person of authority. Now, this could be a person of interest coming in in a romantic status. Okay. And, you know, relationships, romantic, friendly, whatever it is, business or not. Your cup runneth over, Aquarius. You're being asked to, you're being initiated here. And you're being asked to not shy away, right? There's this abundant cup of love coming in towards you from your higher ups, helping you to elevate yourself to this leadership position. And it may be way, it may be through way of other people, you know, these elders, you know, the emperor could be a father figure, grandfather, uncle, um, a great grandfather, a godfather, or your actual father on the other side watching over you and uh, um, literally wanting you to take your rightful place that they all be seeing you at. Okay. And they may be showering you with love and directive. But there's also an energy here where there may be someone in the flesh who, um, is fond of you. They've been watching you and they've been seeing how you've been managing and they want to help you out or vice versa. Okay. Vice versa. We get, remember, it's all about interpretation and perception. Okay. Spirit is asking you to look at things through the lens of love. All right, Aquarius, this is what I have for you. And until next time, I hope this was helpful. Take care and be well. Namaste.